hi guys hope your day is good hope your week is going well and i hope you're doing good today if you're new here hi my name is kali imani i am a singer and a content creator as well welcome to my channel so i got braids a few weeks ago not less braids extra small and also like long but not very long and i wanted to just do a few quick hairstyles that i usually do when i have braids on so let's get straight into it um the very first hairstyle is just me leaving my braids down i think when it comes to hairstyles you need to do your research on hairstyles that fit your face shape so for me personally a side part would look more flattering on me than a middle part which i'm going to do next um you're going to see the difference between the two so i would really advise you to at least learn a few things from this and while you are just putting ponytail all through you know this i get it ponytail is the best but it's nice to try out a few hairstyles as well for example you see the middle part now i don't look as fluttering as i did when i put the side part on so yes you need to do a lot of research when you are putting protective styles like braids or twists or styles that require you to try and hold them a certain way it just gives off a fluttering and like attractive vibe than just putting one hairstyle all through so the next hairstyle i'm gonna take a few pieces of braids at the front and hold them at the back with a hairband this hairstyle is best if you don't want braids all over your face i don't really know where you should wear this hairstyle i feel like it's for any outfit and like any place this is like the og hairstyle to do if you don't feel like putting the ponytail that you usually do if you also want to elevate the style a bit you can pull a few braids from the back to the front or it can also be just one side instead of both sides and also to elevate the style a bit more you can pull two strands of your braids to the front to just make the hairstyle a bit elevated and not you know basic you know so yeah that's it for the second hairstyle I feel like this is among the simplest hairstyles to do and yeah i really really like this one on to the next hairstyle which is the half up half down where i'm going to divide my braids into two and take the half part the first half and hold it at the very top of my head which is sort of like a high ponytail because there are different types of ponytails and then when i do the braids i'm not gonna pull them right through if i want to have you know just a small elevation of the hairstyle i can decide to just pull the braids halfway and have like a flower situation at the top of my head and then still have the two braids at the front and then pull some braids from the back and that would be the first way to do this half 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 down hairstyle the next way will be just the normal way where you just pull the braids through and have the half up half down braid situation if you're seeing your ponytail in Melala Kidogo and you want it to be a bit firm, you can go ahead and take two braids from the same same ponytail and wrap them around your ponytail. It kind of firms the ponytail kabisa na inakaivo all day until utoe and it just makes it look a bit more neat and decent. I personally prefer this third way and the first way. Of doing this hairstyle i'm really hoping you can tell the difference between the three and also this hairstyle is best if you're wearing a top like the one i'm wearing or a dress or you know an outfit that is exposing your shoulders and your back this hairstyle is best fit for that and yeah that's it for the third look On to the next hairstyle which is a half bun half braid situation you're just gonna take the same same ponytail we've just done and wrap it around to form a bun so i would suggest you try this hairstyle if you don't have a lot of braids because it might not be too stable and it might fall off anytime soon you just have to use a small a smaller amount of braids to form the bun but yeah that's it for this hairstyle it's giving extra completely extra like you just don't want to do basic things you know 
and yeah that's it for this hairstyle on to the next hairstyle which i think is our fifth hairstyle you take a few braids from the back of your head and you tie the rest of the braids together in a knot you actually don't need a hairband for this it's also one of the very common hairstyles that are done with braids If you want to make the hairstyle a bit more elevated, you can just go ahead and pull the two strands that you pulled and then pull a few braids from the back and yeah, it just kind of like adds small spice to your hairstyle. On to our sixth hairstyle where you're gonna need either a hair extension or a shoelace even and you hold all your braids into one place at the top part of your head forming a high ponytail this is one of the best and the og hairstyles of braids which makes your braids look very flattering and kind of pulls your face back kidogo so it just looks nice yani if you want to hold the ponytail in place and make it a bit more firm you use the two strands just like we did before and you hold the ponytail together and it kind of just makes it more firm and yeah that's it for the sixth hairstyle I also forgot to mention to add a bit more spice to the ponytail you can go ahead and pull the two strands at the front of your head on to our seventh hairstyle which is the iconic bun where you put all your braids and just form a bun This is how it looks when it's all done and you need to make sure that it's very very firm within the course of the day and also if you feel like you don't want the two strands at the front you can just go ahead and add them at the back i like doing this hairstyle with a scarf around just to secure the bun visually or to cover the entire bun with a scarf as well that's also another way to do this hairstyle on to our eighth hairstyle which is the middle ponytail where you're gonna secure a ponytail just like we did but now it's going to be at the middle of your head also to add a bit more spice the two strands at the front of your hair and that's it for the eighth hairstyle for our ninth hairstyle it's just gonna be the same same hairstyle but now you put the braids in a bun you need to make sure that the bun is very secure so that it doesn't fall off during the course of the day On to our next hairstyle which is our 10th hairstyle by the way we are going to take all the braids and hold them at the very bottom of our head with the extension that we were using forming a low ponytail I really feel like I'd recommend this hairstyle if you're going maybe to the office or to work or to a date or something that requires you to look very very neat this hairstyle is the one for you also to add a bit more spice you put the two strands at the front of your hair 
I don't know if you can tell but the putting two strands kind of like gives your face a bit more definition and you just look a bit more elevated compared to just doing it plainly but yeah i think that's it for this hairstyle you can just decide where you're going to put the braids if you want to leave them at the back or at the side it's up to you for our 11th hairstyle we're just gonna put the braids into a bun so it's going to be a low bun You need to make sure it's secure though. Mine was not very secure. So you have to make sure it's secure so that you can last the whole day. On to our 12th hairstyle, which I feel like I can call it flat twist. I don't know how I'm gonna call it because I take a few braids at the front of my head and just twist them, form a flat twist at the very front part of my head and then hold them with a few braids from this other side. I feel like this hairstyle is best fit for like church, a maharusi, or just something like an occasion where you need to like be decent, you know. And also you can add a few shiny shiny things on the twist to just make it a bit more elevated and just gorgeous. On to our last hairstyle, which is our 13th hairstyle, by the way. You take a bunch of braids from the front part of your head and hold them together in the middle, at the middle of your head, just like we did the top one. So you're going to style it three ways. You can either decide to do the flowery thing, the one that I showed you guys. So it's going to be at the middle of your head instead of at the top. Also, you can decide to add the two strands like we did before to add a bit of spice. Well, besties, we have reached the end of this styling video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. And hopefully you're going to try out a few of the styles that I have showed you guys. And yeah, this is Kalimani versus Hair Growth Episode 7. See you guys in my next one. Bye. You make me want too much